Welcome back. North Goa PDA has decided to go ahead with the Mara beautification project in spite of scam allegations. The Planning and Development Authority is undertaking a beautification project on a PPP basis at a cost of 60 crores. This will include a new market complex along with the beautification of the Mara Lake. Goa People's Forum has already alleged a scam of 480 crore rupees in the project. Chairman of North Goa Planning and Development Authority Alex Reginal informed that there is no hidden agenda of selling the land and added that they have followed transparency in the process. Alex also informed that the project will be leased out on a PPP basis. The land will be leased out for 60 years while the lake will be leased for 20 years. The consultant master and associates will pay 5 lakh rupees to the PDA every month. This whole project is on lease. There is no question of sale of this project. At the end of the term, whatever he's been specified, that is 60 years, he has to give that the, give back the land. And at the end of 20 years, he has to give back the, the yes, link. Yes. And now to give back, to avoid any hitches, this one rupee was kept. And that was nominated by, that was uh, insisted by PPP cell. Because they had problems with previous PPPs on, uh, on that thing that saying that uh, one amount lump sum was given for the sale money. They took advantage of the situation and got away with some of the things. That's why this was included. There is no question of any uh, any uh, hidden agenda or hidden anything. Everything is available. They have taken everything on right of information. And we have all the informations with us. The consultant Uday Master mentioned that they will hand over 10% of the developed area to NGPDA for their use. Any leasing that he does inside, NGPD is a covering 2% right on the rentals. So if the rentals keep changing yearly, there's a 2% revenue income on a yearly basis. That is the next income there. And 5 lakhs rupees a month, net payment to uh, NGPDA for the entire lake site. All security expenses, all maintenance expenses, all utilities, and all household expenses, I mean all the housekeeping expenses are to his account. A reporter in Panji Laukik Shilkar with video journalist Ravindra Dalvi. CCP Mayor Yatin Parekh has claimed that the present CCP Council is corruption free. Parekh completed 100 days in the office after taking over as Mayor of Panji. He has promised that a lot of developmental projects will be undertaken in the city after the monsoons. But opposition has said that Parekh has not done any work other than cleaning drains and buying a new car for himself. Parekh has vowed to make the city of Panji garbage free. He has promised developmental projects like hot mixing of roads. He has also said that the centre has approved one project demarcating conservation zones. Cleanliness of the market and city area are already has already started and still going on. As I also said, this, this city will be congestion free. So. To avoid that, and I have taken a very drastic step, and I have stopped the commercial complexes licenses, which is very difficult in nowadays times. He plans to start the third phase of the market complex. He also plans to solve the issue of crematorium. He also said that new trees will be planted and the existing ones will be numbered. CCP Corporator Surendra Furtado, however, says that the CCP has not achieved anything in the last 100 days. corporation and Aki Punji, I sangle the permane contractor don't in contractor dune, so glad drain limb keller. And in lim drain limb crun at a flooding na and titkoi paus yona poya fude, flooding zata zainate. But a kid the kilometer mirror and upon a new guide getly. Anning development is a kind of owner. Standing committee in Fokata me by Gatla solid waste management Pesa Taliga Okoshe, the garbage aje plant Yopak, the corporation and Barakala Taliga Oche Ponji is Sadak, yes, Shember the Sunny Kinds Corona, Estimate Prepare Zauna, Naka Custle Development Zauna, and JRM JNRM Pushi Unga, Etamuda de Puya Canada. Fully yet at the coming days, Puya Mir Kidakuda, Makadisana Mir Tejagran Ektegaki the Kurungat, Kitaka Rokodo signal Yungzai Tower Astano. Output of the Vizas Kamali with video journalist Anil Sanadi. 
The government has approved regional plans for the talukas of Sange, Bicholi and Darbandora. The steering committee which met on Thursday has referred the plans to the TCP department. The plans will be subsequently notified within two weeks. On Thursday, the regional plans for the talukas of Sange, Bicholi and Darbandora were approved by the state level committee. The state government has already notified the plans for Kankona, Perne, Chattari, Ponda and Kape. The plans will now be referred to the Town and Country Planning Board and later handed over to the state government for notification. We have approved the surface utilization plans for Sangem, Dharbandura and Bicholi. So with that, out of 12 talukas, we have released the plans for 8, eight talukas, right? Eight talukas. Only four talukas are now remaining. This is a distribution taluka wise. Bichuri taluka has a forest area of 39%, settlement zone of 14.78%, industrial zone of 3.36%, and eco 2 zone of 61%. Sangye taluka has a forest area of 76%, settlement zone of 3.71%, industrial zone of 0.35%, and eco 2 zone of 19%. While Darbandara taluka has a forest area of 76%, Settlement zone of 3.88%, industrial zone of 0.17%, and eco 2 zone of 16%. Chief Town Planner S. Putaraju says that the work on the four coastal talukas is on. These three, eight talukas, the remaining are four talukas which are the coastal talukas. So the, the plan work is in progress for all these the four talukas also, except Salset will be taking up in the next. The Bardes, Tiswadi and Murmugao. The work is in progress and we try to complete at the earliest. Our reporter Jason Suarez with video journalists Anil Sanadi and Omkar Falari. Venkatesh Sintal, a robber, has been arrested by Madgaon police. Police say he looted many commuters and extorted money. He was also involved in car thefts and robberies at various places in the state. Madga police arrested a robber by the name Venkatesh Sintal. He was involved in robberies at Panchi, Madgaon, Vasco and Porvori. Venkatesh confessed that he is involved in extorted money and road robberies. On 14th June, Amar Patil filed a complaint with the Madgaon police that a person forcibly stops the vehicles and extorts money. Immediately, Madgaon police laid a trap and caught Venkatesh red-handed at Raval Fond in Madgaon. He is now in police custody. P.I. Santosh Desai informed that the interrogation is in progress and they are suspecting involvement of more associates in this case. A reporter in Madgaon, Ramesh Naik Routh. Residents from six complexes in Navili are agitated. They are disturbed as Pollution Control Board has issued a seven-day deadline to the Mudga municipality for sealing sewage discharge points of the complexes. The sewage water is supposedly polluting the Saipan Lake. They have demanded an alternate solution to this problem. The residents of Navili area are furious over the order issued by the GSPCB. They said that if the sewage outlet is blocked, then they will have to stay in an unhygienic condition. Why we should suffer? Uh, suppose you block as per your ad, uh, uh, this thing, Direction. news, you are blocking the sewage. Then what will happen? It is so unhygienic. Former chairperson of Madga municipality, Savio Kutino, said that the government will have to give another alternate accommodation to the residents for solving the problem. And if at all, any such step is taken wherein the residents of this area are uh, put into inconvenience, we will be forced to all go and ask for alternate accommodation by, from the Chief Minister. And we will have to come on the road. Earlier, some farmers had filed a complaint with the municipality that sewage water is affecting their fields. They had alleged that the sewage water is polluting the Saipan Lake. Later in the evening, Pollution Control Board officials, councillors of Mudgaon Municipality, along with the Chief Officer of Mudgaon, inspected the residential complex premises. Chief Officer of Mudgaon Prasanna Acharya informed that they will request the GSPCB to extend the date to sort out the issue. 
At the same time, we are also writing back to Pollution Control Board that according to our estimation, 7 days time is not sufficient to address this issue and for which we are asking extension of time. A reporter in Navili, Ramesh Naik Routh. News from sports after a short break. Stay tuned.